Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Today I'm going to build another grow bed for Melanie's greenhouse. So each of us will have a couple greenhouses and we have some plants that have to get in. And the greenhouse is helping to support the structure of the fence and also give us shelter for our plants. And it's on higher ground out here, so it's multiple bonuses. Um, I just noticed I forgot hearing protection. I'm about to make some cuts. I hold my materials over and I realized I don't have hearing protection, so I'll be right back and start putting this together. So I'm going to put the cart before the horse in this case and build a grow bed before the frame. But that's fine because as you can see, the cross bracing on the fence are what's supposed to be the frame for my greenhouse. So I have to put the cart before the horse in this case. So now we can start. footer it's going to be 8 by 8 or 8 by 4 just like that for her she's shorter than me so she's going to have a greenhouse frame set up like this the door up for her Side, though. She'll be able to enter in like this and then I'll have a bridge walking across and she can go to the other side to maximize the use of the space and allow her to still reach into the middle because she can't uh, reach over like I can. Everything is slow going today. It's very humid and everything's sticking to me. All my motions are very slow and exaggerated. Them nails down in the ground here for safety while I work.
is true 2x4 or 2x6 lumber and the Rowby was never made to go through something that thick so I have to turn it over and cut it twice so I've got my two eights now I'm going to cut my two fours out of this piece here and I'll be back in a few minutes looks like my camera work might come to a soon end there's a storm coming in it's supposed to rain in and off all day yeah, we'll see how it goes so now I just need to uh, put this one back here there's a nail on this one yep put that down I need to center this so, I have to come roughly dead center on the post and come over 24 inches. And double check the other side just to be sure. find out once I get it put together. Now these have a lot of nails on one side. What I do is put them down and they dig in. They hold it in place for me. I don't even take them out. By the way, these we're putting, uh, as we get empty soup cans, I'm covering these. Although they're temporary, we're starting from the end where Michelle plays more and we're putting soup cans on all the way as we go. For safety. trying to get this set up to where there's a little gap here because being a greenhouse we're going to have plastic film on here to prevent the wall from being wet all the time. We definitely don't want anything to rot. Or we don't want our fence to rot. The heat's getting to me. I'm looking for these and I got them right here. Oh, this knee is still not able to get down very much. Dealing with warped wood is awkward too. This will be the outer wall. Figure out where end up with 
ACI. So it's this one's out. Because once we fill this thing, there's no going back. I hope I'm in the camera. This new camera is always like it's zoomed in. There's no wide angle on this camera. Boy, the humidity is insane. that part that was the easy part now I can put all my tools away I get a hammer down those nails in the corner the tools away and then I can start hauling in wheelbarrow loads of soil and mulch so it's going to be just like my first strawberry bed I can't see my camera and which I planted bare root strawberries with Michelle in here you may remember and our other strawberry bed I cannot see this camera Oh, it's like a cell phone. You can see yourself, but you can't see the display. This one is growing happily and actually having fruit. So this one is, is doing very well, very happy. So we're going to copy that, what we did here, right over here for Melanie's grow bed. And we'll have a good, good greenhouse in here. So let me clean up because it is going to rain probably and get uh, hauling some wheelbarrow loads in here. So all the soil that we've worked in here through the years and all the amendments we brought in, Amish topsoil, compost mix, and uh, our own compost. If you may remember, last year we scooped it all over into raised beds. But the problem is we can't keep it moist enough out here in this desert-like condition. And it freezes all the time. So we're moving it. The soil is good. You can smell it. This was pure sand. When we first moved here, and that is black dirt, and it smells, you can smell the nutrients. So I'm scraping it off and keep the good stuff reuse it over there taking out the weeds as I go With my tractor running this would have taken a few seconds but I got to get that steering fixed I'll tell you what I've been using that tractor a lot around this property
have Melanie mix some peat moss in the top, in the, in the very top, for moisture retention. And of course we're going to put uh, mulch in there too. I'm weeding as I go. If you guys want, you can study the Back to Eden Garden Method. It's a book, Back to Eden. Back to Eden is a no-till garden method where you amend the soil with mulch and compost through the years and never till again. It's a good book, check it out. Well that's four, four or five wheelbarrows. It sure looks like it's, oh it is raining over there. It's raining on me. Thought I heard some rain hitting my hat. Now I'm gonna have her put peat moss and some of her own compost in here on top. Mix it in nicely. It's really soft. It's a good mix through the years. Hate to move it twice, but I got the wood piles in the way of bringing a wheelbarrow around. Yeah, whatever. Even with a tractor, I wouldn't be able to get around that easy. You gotta move it some. Boy, it is hot. The humidity is intense today. You can feel it. Now I'm getting close to filling up. I might need one more wheelbarrow after this one. We'll see how it looks. Maybe two. So See how that spreads out. At least, at least one more. One more. We'll see how it goes. It's getting there. I'm thinking too though, but we are going to want to add compost and peat moss. So let me haul a load in and see how it goes. It's 
spying on me. I was too late to this camera, it's so slow. He was right here. Started this thing, came out here, watched me, turned around, stopped again, and went home. It's not even his home, he just uses her. Well, that's the next load. I think that'll do it. Because I'm going to have her put compost in here. There's a grub. I don't know what exactly those are, but I don't want them in her food beds. She'll be pulling in probably a couple wheelbarrows of compost and stuff. And I'll be bringing over some peat moss for her. So she can level it out the rest of the way and amend the soil as she wants. But there it is. That's a good start for now. Now I'm going to go in and rest a bit because it's hot. Well, that's it for now. That's as far as I'm going. Uh, I got to put a greenhouse around it. That's a start. I don't think we're going to get any freezing anytime soon, but we do get random freezing nights throughout um, June. We do. So it's always possible we could get a frost. So I've got to get the frame around this. The strawberries will be fine. They're open, but these are going to be sensitive plants. And then if she wants later, I can put a tiered grow area up against the back wall. We'll see what she wants. I am going to put a board across later for a walkway for her. And there's my strawberry bed that had bare roots that uh, hasn't done anything. I guess it can take some time. And then here's hers, which is looking really good. And they're flowering, and there's berries, and there's new leaves coming up. And the ones that are there are standing tall and healthy. So this is really good. I can't see this. I might have to get yet another new camera. I can't see anything. But, uh, I can't tell what I'm looking at. So I sure hope I'm showing you what I think I'm showing you. But, they're healthy. Well, I'm going to go in and take a break. It's, uh, really, really humid. It's, it's pretty brutal. And it's time for a little break. <laughs>